researching the best glowworms for our trip to New Zealand. Looks like the best ones are in, they are typically found in New Zealand and Australia. There's the Watomo Cave. We gotta make sure we go to that one. Yeah, that's the next one. The, the, the Teano Glowworm Caves in New Zealand. Okay, we'll go there. And the next one is what? Dismal's Canyon, Alabama. Hey, guy. Yeah. There, did you know there are glowworms in Alabama? What? I'm, we're gonna have to go. Hey, I'm leaving the office. It's after five on a Friday, and I'm going to Alabama to see the glowworms. It's time for this physical therapist to have some fun. I can't wait. I'll see ya. Oh my goodness gracious. I see the Motel 6. Eight hours on the road. Holy smokes. I know it's going to be worth it, but this has been a long, long drive. Dismal's Canyon is a specialized environment requiring specialized equipment. Here is our lists of what we took. Here we are, turning into Dismal's Canyon. Well, the road before Dismal's Canyon. So, I'm a little excited. The best times to go are mid-May to mid-June, or the end of September to the beginning of October. Dismal's Canyon is a national natural landmark, so it's not a na national or state park. It's privately owned. Dismal's Canyon is located in northwest Alabama. It's also northwest of Birmingham. We stayed in a town called Hamilton where we got ourselves a room and it was about a 20 minute drive to Dismal's Canyon. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Just the entrance. Just the entrance is pretty. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a good time. I guess this is the country store area where you have to you have to check in. How pretty! The beautiful Rainbow Falls. That's already taken pictures. said it was going to take two hours to walk around the canyon. Something makes me think that we're going to take a little bit longer. So here um, at Dismal Canyon, Dismal's Canyon actually, um, we've come to see the Dismal Light glowworms. So this is a perfect place for them. The dismal light glowworms are actually larvae of flies that are in this area. They're cousins to the glowworms that are in Australia and New Zealand. The glowworms need five things to be able to exist. This is the perfect place for them. They need uh, humidity. For one, it has to be humid enough so they don't dry out. They need hanging surfaces so they can hang their webs from. They need darkness so that they're phosphorescence, their, their glowing can attract the insects. They need stillness so that their webs don't swing and hit things, and they need available food. This place has all those perfect things.
It's almost 8 o'clock and I'm getting really excited because at 8 o'clock is the Dismal Light Glowworm Tour and um, this is what we came, drove eight, both of us drove 8 hours to be able to make it, to be able to see these, so I'm so excited. The only problem is it's raining, so we're not sure we're going to get any shots, but we're going to give it our best shot, <laughs> no pun intended, and see what happens. Here we go. All right, this one's what? It's a giant North American millipede. Giant North American millipede. That's not what we're here to see, but it's... It's cool though, huh? Yeah. And you can see it under UV light. light. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, we're leaving from the Dismal Light Canyon tour where we saw a ton of glowworms. They were not exactly photogenic. Uh, we were in a big crowd of people. We probably shouldn't have gone on the most popular tour. It looked like we probably had 25 people with us on our tour and it looked like the 9 o'clock tour had fewer people. But really the best thing would have been to have gone on our private tour, which they're not big on doing on the weekends. If we had gone on a, a Thursday night or a Wednesday night and gone and done a private tour, because it was really hard with a group of people to keep everybody keeping their flashlights off to be able to see and take photos of the glowworms. Our best shots at this point look like dots on a dark background. We're gonna work on the pictures and see what we can come up with. It was really fun, but you do have to navigate pretty rough terrain um, in relative darkness or with flashlights. And uh, it was raining, so it made it a little bit trickier. We had a blast, though. Well, we've come back tonight to go see the Dismal Light um, glowworms. It's here. We're back for the... Uh, 